Right, for the last two nights, we've been going door to door, knocking on neighbors' doors, letting them know that we're here. As the community continues to grieve the loss of four in Sunday's mass shooting, Hmong officers are stepping up to help those in need. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Barugian. And I'm Alex Zambalakian. We begin with the latest developments in the mass shooting from southeast Fresno. And for a second straight night, a candlelight vigil being held in memory of the four men gunned down during a family gathering this last Sunday night. Today, Fresno police tapping into resources as Hmong officers now patrolling the area, still trying to come to grips of this senseless tragedy. Our AJ Cotto there live at the site of the vigil, which is also where the shooting happened. AJ, what's the message tonight, and is there any sense of calm in the neighborhood? Well, Alex, on the bottom line is officers out here want the community to feel safe. Now, there are a lot of Hmong families living in the area. They say that they will continue to patrol out here and there will always be someone here for them to turn to. More pain as the community continues to grieve a senseless act of violence. Four men shot and killed at a family gathering Sunday. Cha Li Shong, father of Ku Shong, speaking out at a second vigil Tuesday. Saying his son was never in trouble and he doesn't know what would cause this tragedy. He says Ku was a sushi chef who loved to cook for him. He's now heartbroken because from this day forward, he'll never hear his son offer him food again. Police say this area is home to many Hmong families, and they're shifting resources to bring comfort. For the last two nights, we've been going door to door, knocking on neighbors' doors, letting them know that we're here. Officer Peter Lee, who is of Hmong descent, was on scene during the devastation. Hi, Fresno Police Department. Yes. Now returning to the neighborhood for the aftermath. Everyone is mourning. The department now utilizing its roughly 20 Hmong officers, focusing on where the shooting happened and surrounding areas. Uh, going door to door, making their presence known, and looking for any information to help the investigation. We're going to be, uh, you know, showing our support to the neighborhood, to the community, let them know that if they have any questions, we'll be available. Uh, our vehicle will be parked in front of the, the, the house, as well, or the location where it occurred, and um, we'll be out walking as well, too. And Officer Lee says he will be out here personally until 2 a.m. this morning, and the increased patrols will continue as the investigation does. Reporting live in Southeast Fresno, AJ Cotto, KC24, Local News That Matters. Thank you.